In today's video, I'm gonna share with you my top 10 summer picks for women's fragrances. So if you wanna hear what they are, make sure you keep watching. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Tip Benson here, and I am so excited to share this list with you. Summer has, I was gonna say summer has sprung. That's spring. Summer is here and it's time to put away those spring winter fragrances and dive right into hot weather scents. This is my designer list and I know that some of you are looking for affordable options within the designer price point. So I hope you enjoy and let's get into the video. Leave a comment right now and let me know what you've been wearing this summer. Leave a comment, your girl is super curious. It brings me so much joy to look and see what you guys are wearing. And also let me know what is your scent of the day. Jumping right into the countdown, coming in in the number 10 spot, we have Guerlain's Shalimar Eau Toilette, Queen of the Orient. It's smoky, hazy, somewhat sensual, and I believe it's perfect for the summer. Certainly one of the most famous fragrances from the House of Guerlain, arguably one of the most famous fragrances ever created of all time, Shalimar is a beauty. This fragrance really does pull at my heartstrings. It has beautiful notes of incense, jasmine, vanilla, and tonka. Guerlain is known for tonka and vanilla. They know how to do it and do it very well. EDT version is perfect for summer, and if you can get your hands on the Uda Shalimar version. It's a rare find, but it's gorgeous. It's also perfect for summertime, and I know you will enjoy it. Coming in in the number 10 spot is Shalimar by Guerlain at a toilet. Coming in in the number nine spot, we have Burberry Weekend. I would call this the stylish weekender. This is for sure my weekend holiday scent. It's super casual, somewhat relaxed, but very elevated at the same time. It's a sheer floral that has powdery notes and also gives you beautiful moments of sillage. On my skin, the primary notes that I get are peach blossom, violet root, musk, and cedarwood. It's perfect for summertime, and spring, daytime affairs. I would not wear this at night because it feels very light, lighthearted, playful, relaxed, and it's perfect for summer hot weather. Coming in in the number nine spot is Burberry Weekend. Coming in in the number eight spot is Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. So this fragrance is for my glamour pusses out there. If you like, you know, having your makeup done, hair done, nails done, everything did kind of girl, I think this fragrance might be for you. Normally I would not recommend this fragrance for summer as it can be quite heavy, especially in the summertime. However, the other day I wore this fragrance and I was like, damn, I smell good. The saving grace for this particular fragrance is that it has prominent notes of grapefruit and musk, which allows it to be very fresh. The fragrance is also balanced with peony and Damascus rose, which allows it to really shape the scent into a beautiful, fresh, fruity floral. Date night for sure, summer nights when you wanna be noticed. It's charming and irresistible, just like the Dior copy says on its website. And again, make sure that you spray it lightly when you wear it because it has sillage for miles, like literally, like you can spray it and smell it down the block. Coming in, in the number eight spot is Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. Coming in in the number seven spot is Romance by Ralph Lauren. If I had to describe her, I would call her an American classic. It's an uber fresh floral. So many florals in this one, I have to read because <laughs> it's a lot. One of the notes, which I'm not even familiar with, but I think it's just super charming, is a Sun Goddess Rose. Like. Someone asks, what's in your fragrance? Oh, Sun Goddess Rose, what's in yours? It also has notes of chamomile oil, ginger, yellow freesia, lotus flower, patchouli, oak moss. Last year, I actually included tender romance to the countdown, so just throwing that out there. I love them both for summer. Romance during the day, tender romance at night, and you can't go wrong. Coming in in the number seven spot is Romance by Ralph Lauren. Coming in in the number six spot is Gabrielle Chanel. Now, I adore this fragrance, everyone. I think if you watch this channel, you know I adore this fragrance and I highly recommend it. It's a classic floral scent done in an ultra modern way. 
or faceted fragrance with notes of tube rose, ylang ylang, jasmine, and orange blossom. I think it's perfect for date night. I think it's perfect for grab and go. I think it's perfect for church, office, daytime, nighttime. You can get a lot of flexibility and wearability out of this fragrance, which is why I'm absolutely recommending it. And I also believe that it's the perfect introductory scent for people who are not necessarily familiar with the house of Chanel. Chanel can be super floral. Chanel can be super heavy. You know, it's very Chanel them. However, this is kind of like a new interpretation of what fragrance might be smelling like going forward from the house of Chanel, at least for women. And I dig it. And that's why it's in the number six spot, Gabrielle by Chanel. Coming in in the number five spot is Le Infusion Iris Cidre out of Parfum by Prada. So this fragrance is for my serious minimalists who love to smell clean. You know what I mean? That's me over here guilty. Perhaps one of my favorite fragrances from the house of Prada. Prada is known for that beautiful clean iris note that they kind of interweave all throughout their fragrances. Key notes here are iris, cedar, and incense. And what I love about this fragrance and really the whole Prada line is that they're known for their classy scents, their clean scents, but also being very androgynous. This is very unisex. Men can grab this one and go as well. I see it being very professional, super classy, daytime ready. You could even wear it in the nighttime if you douse yourself with it. Super enjoyable summer scent, spring scent, fall scent, winter scent. I mean, you can just get tons of wear out of it. Highly recommending this one in the number five spot. L'Infusion Iris Cidre out of Parfum. Coming in in the number four spot, we have Giorgio Armani's Suna the Gioia. I go to Italy once and then I'm like, Suna the Gioia. <laughs> I would describe this scent as the spa retreat vixen. You know, that girl who loves to just be luxurious and kind of just go and get massages and take a retreat, take a moment to herself and enjoy the sun. This fragrance is all about simplicity in the sun. In fact, it was inspired by air to breathe, aqua to refresh, and sun to shine. It's super relaxed and it really does remind me of taking a holiday, of course, on a spa retreat. Has beautiful notes of iris, ylang ylang, jasmine, and vanilla. It's a really happy scent and I feel like you should be wearing it somewhere on an island living your best life scream summer and it really does smell like warm sun-kissed skin. Coming in, in the number four spot is Giorgio Armani's Suna the Joya. Coming in in the number three spot, we have Angel Fruity Fair by Terry Mugler. I would describe this fragrance as the carnival lover and enthusiast. It's something very playful about this fragrance. Super light, carefree, very lighthearted. It's a more playful, youthful interpretation or reinterpretation of the classic Angel. And it's a thousand times more fruitier than the original, which I would take any day over being sugary sweet, being more fruity, making it a floriental gourmand-y fragrance that kind of just works. Prominent notes here are blackberry and lychee. It also has whipped cream and vanilla. So pray for your girl because I'm really trying to work on my summer body and I'm trying to add more whipped cream in my fragrance and less whipped cream on my plates, on my ice cream, on my frappuccinos. The struggle is real. Also, this is a limited edition fragrance. So if you can get your hands on it, you are blessed. You are super fortunate. And I will be wearing this for the 4th of July, my scent of the day because I love just the whimsicalness, the playfulness of it all. Coming in, in the number three spot is Terry Mugler's Fruity Fair. Coming in in the number two spot is one of my favorite fragrances from the house of Bulgari of all time. It is called Omnia Crystalline. Gorgeous scent. And I would describe this fragrance as 
the luxurious yogi. She loves bamboo, she loves lotus flower, she loves to stretch, she loves to take deep breaths in and deep breaths out. This fragrance when it was created was certainly ahead of its time. This is like one of the first fragrances to really introduce bamboo as like a prominent note in a fragrance. So quick story, whenever I am traveling in the airport, wherever I'm going, I always go to Duty Free and this is one of the first fragrances that I look for. I don't know, it's just very calming, very soothing, has loads of sillage, but it's not overdone. Comes across very fine and luxurious and just smells like pure Italian luxury. That's why it is in the number two spot, Bulgari's Omnia Crystalline. So coming in in the number one spot is one of my favorite Fragrances from the house of Tom Ford, Soleil Blanc, Eau de Parfum. I had to describe this scent. I would say it is the luxurious sunbather. You know, that girl that is like just sitting poolside, having a cocktail. Maybe she's reading the latest issue of Vogue, just trying to catch up on her reading. Soleil Blanc is a warm, spicy oriental floral, which kind of comes across slightly gourmandish. Prominent notes here are cocoa de mer, pistachio, and bergamot. So that pistachio note kind of makes it super gourmandy and foody. Very creamy on the skin. Compliment getting scent because it has tons of sillage. And really, it's just one of those fragrances that will not disappoint. Think about the note of amber, a little bit of floral, creaminess, and a touch of luxury, and you have Soleil Blanc in a bottle. It's full bottle worthy and in a nutshell, this fragrance is the bomb. A pistachio nutshell. So I sincerely hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if it's your first time here and turn on, turn on that notification button right now so that you can be notified every time your girl posts a video here on YouTube. Don't forget the conversation continues over at the Fragrance Society where this week we will be giving away a full bottle of Comptoir Sud Pacific Vanille Banan. Don't miss out on the giveaway. I will leave it in the card. Love you forever. Watch what's up next and I'll catch you in the next one.